So I've been using this for three months now, this Cougar Vanta Scissor Gaming Keyboard RGB whatever. Uh, I got it for the price. Um, $50 at Umart Australia uh, compared to $150 or more for other backlit gaming keyboards. Um, the reason I got it was I was just hunting for a replacement keyboard for my dying spongy keyboard that was ugly to use. I just wanted backlit so I could use it at night. I like to use it to get to sleep, type some stories, but I don't want it to be too bright, so we'll get to that. And the other thing is I wanted it to feel better when I'm typing because the other one was a rubbish. So they're just covering the color, all this, uh, by default it does this awesome rainbow thing. There's many videos already out there covering all its RGB features. It's um, I won't do that here. Uh, just a summary, it's not a fancy one where you could color every single key, it's not that kind of keyboard, it's just got six zones which have some effects and uh, you can actually set it up so you can actually custom color each zone. Um, it remembers what you, but you know, what I want to do is set it to one color for when I go to sleep and all that, uh, but it remembers what you set as long as you don't unplug it, even when you turn the computer off, which is great. But even if you do unplug it, which I do because I move it to my laptop and I type stories and go to sleep, um, it's just bang. Like it starts off like that by default, rainbowy, pulsy, and I plug in the laptop and I just go bang, five. That's what I want. Uh, you can keep five is my favorite mode because one solid color. Change the colors. Keep pressing function five. Say so function and a number gets you a setting and function five go through and uh, if it's too bright at night you can function page down page up so uh, now as for the actual keyboard pressing um, I've always loved the way laptops feel the the keyboards uh, this is exactly the way a laptop keyboard feels uh, when it says scissor switch on the um, packaging that's just referring to the same keyboard uh, mechanism in there in in every single laptop since forever uh, it's got this little plastic thing that goes I don't know it doesn't whatever it's it's the thing that makes it pop back up again whatever the thing is it's got a short press distance and I can type a lot faster and a lot better than I did on my old older crappy keyboard uh, having said that it's like halfway between like a sort of a normal keyboard with a huge press distance and a membrane button underneath a spongy button which is most cheap keyboards halfway between that and the $150, $170 uh, gaming keyboards with their mechanical switch presses, which are, of course, even better. You have an audible and tactile click on those expensive mechanical keyboards, which, unfortunately, is a noise problem. So you may prefer this. Uh, if you're in an office, you know, if you're not in an office, if you're not using it while you're using the mic when you're multiplayer gaming, you probably don't care. Go for the gaming keyboard. Sorry, the click mechanical keyboard if you can afford it. But actually, this is the noise is a big deal. If you're gaming and you got Skype running, you're going to really annoy your friends uh, and you'll have to use push to talk. And I don't want to do that because I just like to be able to game and go, oh, God, help me, and just be able to just... It's one more thing I don't want to have to think about in an emergency when I'm being attacked and I need to or jump into action. You know? <laughs> don't want to be pressing another button to talk. Oh, I forgot to talk. Oh, I've been talking silent. You don't want that. So... For me, that's a deal breaker, the fact that mechanical keyboards are too clicky, and it may be for other people too. So that needs to be pointed out. <clears throat> now, having said that, I need to cover the problems. Uh, if you view the keyboard from directly above, which is not ex the way you'll be using it, but probably what had it pass master when they were testing it, the lights the uh, symbols look fine. If you view it at the actual angle you'll be viewing the keyboard at, the tops of the keys go dim. That. Okay. Not so okay. See the top of the zero, uh, the letter O has dimmed out. Well, that's because of the cheap way they did the lights. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, but this has caused me to actually go, Wait, what key? I mean, I've been typing for years. And now I'm going, is that the bracket? I don't know. Uh, leaning over it. That's happened a few times. But it's not a deal breaker. Not for me. It, it hasn't... I've gotten over it. Um, 
yeah, it's 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 manageable. It's a minor thing, I think, because most of the time that kind of doesn't happen. The other problem is it's still better than the keyboard I had. Don't get me wrong, but there every now and again, I'm, I'm typing faster, I think, than I used to. And now because it's not a mechanical keyboard, um, it's um, I you don't have that exact feedback of when and I'm typing fast, and if you don't press quite all the way down. Uh, the key might not respond, but th I mean, that's still really rare, and I've also think I've comment compensated for that too. So I haven't really noticed it happened in a while. But that that kind of something, you know, it's not going to be as good as a mechanical keyboard, I guess, is what I'm saying. But I'm I still think it's a step up because of the short press distance compared to a typical um, spongy membrane silicon keyboard underneath. They all have that, by the way. This has, this has a spongy membrane underneath too. It's just that this one has a short press distance like a laptop keyboard. Uh, this control key, I have had issues with, I go, I thought I've copied or pasted and it didn't work. And I think because unless you, if you press it dead center, it's fine. But if you're using it normally, type, 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 uh, where's home keys? There we are. And you press control, you kind of press it with your pinky and you press it with the, on the edge, maybe it doesn't pick up. Um, most of the time it does, but it's just quite, maybe if you don't press it firmly enough, it doesn't get it. Um, and that's something I've had to compensate for. And I think I've gotten over that too. It's, it's not bad. Um, uh, what else? Um, but that's about it. Apart from those minor little gripes, I think given the choices out there, this is the only thing that sits in between, uh, your standard crappy, spongy, long press distance keyboard and your 150 170 dollar or more other gaming keyboards with their backlights and their mechanical key presses this is a really i'm happy with this for that price for the 50 dollars i paid for it i can type faster i can type it at night and those minor things i just had to point out because other videos other videos don't point that out so i hope you found that useful bye